flood the valleys, dam the rivers, to build cities. This paradise becomes another concrete desert. That's what they'll do to this place. I chose that moment in time to peek back in because you're seeing the children that we've met in 1883 attempting to raise another generation of Dutton at a time of great drought, at a time of prohibition, at a time of all this expansion. The Wild West was truly becoming a relevant center of resources. At that time, other parts of the world were opening up. It's a very interesting development that was happening in the world at large. Taylor is a very particular kind of writer. The overall story is incredible. The scale of it, the breadth of it, the epic quality of this particular iteration is especially ambitious. It's like Hemingway. It's like this unbelievable saga. It reminds me of like Gatsby or something like that. You know, it's just like kind of wild and and romantic and, and scary. And so it's got all the elements. We're shooting on three continents. It's unbelievably epic. It's like the Count of Monte Cristo or something. We've been to Kenya and all over South Africa. We were in Cape Town and Durban, Limpopo. Now here we are in Malta. It's a love story from my point of view. It's love, commitment to self, commitment to partner, commitment to family, to your purpose. Back here in America, the Dutton family are facing enormous problems and difficulties. The whole family needs to come together. Everyone is fighting for land. What belongs to you? What doesn't belong to you? What do you have to fight for? It's an evolving place. As time moves on and science moves on, it changes. How much land do you want? I want the whole valley. It's a story that deserves to be heard. Our story has been shared in the rawest way possible, and it is being done so now. We really have everything. There's going to be action, there's fighting, there's violence, and just the Duttons doing what they do, trying to preserve their way of life, doing whatever it takes to do that. There's this interesting budding up of social progress and modernism. Uh, what, what is that? It's a washing machine. Uh, what is a wash? Clothes. <laughs> Can you imagine? America's changing. Modern technology is crashing down on this cowboy mentality in Bozeman, Montana women's suffrage and prohibition, and there's just so much swirling around, and I think the show really taps into that volatility. I pray you're here to shut down this den of degenerate. Sign says soda shop. Uh-huh, the sign over the whorehouse says dance hall. You don't see. The great challenge is survival. Survival in, at a time of, of huge change, especially in a young country like America. This must be done right, or we lose everything. It has been a uh, necessity for him to redress grievances uh, by himself without aid of civil authority. Tell the world what happens when they cross me. It's a very ambitious project. As an actor, it's a real gift. The future is uncertain. We know that people still want him dead. We know that people still want his ranch. There's threats against other members of his family. There's going to be love, passion. Looks like you got a runner there, Jack. Everybody really enjoys the story we're telling. It feels like there's a purpose to it. It's like this epic adventure. It's really this grand journey home, back to Montana, where the Duttons exist at their core. The dam is about to break, let's put it that way. The pressure is building up on the dam, building up, building up, building up. It's a broad, broad story that ranges across the world and has many, many different tentacles all coming together at the appropriate time. I was delighted to be working with this kind of material. It's rare, really rare. 1923 is going to be awesome, and I mean that in the real sense of the word, full of awe.